Make a cylinder. Change the vertices to 16, and the depth to something like 0.2. Now, select the top faces, inset them, and extrude them downward. Then, create a plane and scale it up. Tab into edit mode and subdivide it a bunch of times to give it more mesh. Go to select and select random. Make sure you have the percentage at 0.5%. Now, turn on proportional editing and bring down these vertices. Give it a subdivision surface modifier and set the shading to smooth. Now, create a new particle system and in the render tab, make sure that the render as is set to object and the instance is set to our cylinder. You can see the coins are sticking out in weird directions, so we can rotate our main coin to fix that. Select your mesh, and under the particle settings, change the number to 5000. Select your coin, and under the materials tab, give it a new material. Switch to the material previews tab, so you can see what your color is, and change it to a nice golden. Raise the metallic and lower the roughness to make it shinier, and create a new camera. Position it so you get a nice angle. Select your mesh and duplicate it a couple times to form the background. Position them so that you don't see any cracks or crevices. Select your camera, and in the camera settings, turn on depth of field. Lower the f-stop to whatever you like, and in the drop-down menu, check depth of field. You can also move the focal distance to show what will be in focus. Select the mesh and give it a new material. Change the material to be something similar to the coins. Now, select all of the other ones that you've duplicated, and then shift select the first one that you changed the material on. Press Ctrl L and click Materials to apply the material to all of them. Next, add a light into your scene. You can see how the shadows react a little bit weird here. So go into your render settings and change the render engine to Cycles and the device to GPU. Next, go into the world settings and change the color of the background to a nice brown. Select your light and change the color of that to whatever you want. I'm going to choose a nice orange. Now we don't want our background to render, it's not a very good color. So, go into your render tab, under film, and just click transparent. Now it'll render it as a PNG and you can put whatever you want there. Now, I'm going to go into the render settings and change the sample rate to 500. And I'm also going to check denoising to get rid of the grain. Now, I'm going to set the tile size in performance to 256 by 256. That speeds it up a little bit. We can also change the quality. I'm going to set this to 200% or 4K. Under the render drop down menu, hit render image. Now, this is what our image looks like, but it doesn't really look right. So, I'm going to bring it into Photoshop, give it a new layer, set the color to a dark color, and just paint the background here. Because we rendered it out as a PNG, it's easy to paint behind the layers. So we can just add a couple fake mountains in the background to look like there's more gold. We can also blur it out so that the depth of field remains consistent with what we've already rendered. Next, we'll go to Filter, Stylize, and Oil Paint. Set all the settings to high, but make sure you turn lighting off. Just click OK. Now we'll do it a couple more times. Just Filter, Oil Paint, Filter, Oil Paint, and there we go. Select your coins, and under Noise, click Add Noise. Lower the amount and set your distribution to Gaussian. There we go, a nice canvas texture. Once you're happy with that, we can export it into Lightroom for final color correction. Now that we're in Lightroom, we can go through some of their default presets to pick one that looks nice. I'm just going to go with Warm Contrast, but you can go with anything you want. I'm just going to make it a little bit purpler in the Split Toning tab, just up the saturation there, and there you go. There's your golden coin treasure pile thing. I mean, you can really take it as far as you want. So, yeah.